assessment on percussion. There are different sounds you're looking for when you're doing the, when you're doing the, the assessments. Um, you know, it's like speech and that, um, the eyes, any contusions to the head, um, if there are any. Um, other than that, like I said, we, we're just doing like a basic physical assessment, mental, like speech, and then um, we're just, like I said, we're, we're just transferring them to the hospital. Once we get to the hospital, then they're going to take their assessment a little bit further. You look at a concussion, you know, the people that you've known or yourself, um, what do you think it, are some of the, you know, long-term effects of a concussion? I mean... Memory loss, short-term memory loss. Um, that's the biggest thing, just me memory loss and um, just everyday function sometimes. And then, you know, with your experience being around the, the, the medical field, is there, do you think there's an, is it on an individual basis or do you think there's a certain time period where a concussion has time to heal? That's a personal, it's a, that's on an every individual basis thing. Depending on how many you have and how hard you're hit, you could be hit one time, but it all depends on the surface and the conditions you're, you're in. Wonderful. Um, it's very, it varies too much. To me, it varies too much to see, just from on hearing on the news or in, in my profession or in the sports. Because in the sports, they're using the artificial turf now. And under the artificial turf, there's cement sometimes. Sure. You know, you're hitting cement. You're not hitting, I mean, even though you're hitting soft grass, fake soft grass, there's still cement under there. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, um, there's not a lot of give to it. Sure. No, I know you said you're a sports guy, so I'll get your personal opinion yeah. on the, the, the recent outcry of concussions, which is coming down from the NFL, to the youth football. And I actually was out, I had a chance to uh, get some footage of the Latrobe Midgets last week. When you look at it, you agree or disagree with, uh, with the concussions in the youth that it, that it could hamper them later in life? Most definitely. Friend, colleagues of mine and their parents that are in sports are making them do concussion tests before they even go into it, which is nice because if they do have signs of concussions or symptoms lingering from a post-concussion that they may not even know about. Uh -huh. um, I, I think it's a great thing, but if you continue to play that way, it'll just hurt them in the long run down the road. Um, look at Muhammad Ali. Sure. God only knows how many times he got shot to the head. Yeah, um, back then they didn't have yeah. any of that. He just kept... back then, yeah. Or uh, Mean Joe Green or Terry Bradshaw. They got power drive into the, into the uh, ground. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and today, yeah, they're being very, very cautious. Sometimes I'm agree, and sometimes but as far as concussion syndrome, you can't be too cautious. How do you feel personally about keeping a kid out of football and saying you're not playing until you're 100 percent better? I have no problem with that because they're not physically, they're not fully healed, they're not 100 percent. They may be 80 or 90 percent, but they're not that 99, 100 percent, or 98 percent. I'd rather have a kid up there than that back at 90, 80, 75 percent. Sure. Because then you're still, you still have that concussion syndrome with sure. Crosby. How much of an impact do you think that affected players 10 years ago that just went out there and played, even though they didn't have a headache, maybe they wouldn't have passed the baseline? Yeah. How do you think that affected some of those players? today without that baseline testing back then? Greatly. Um, they're, they're, they're daily, uh, it may not affect your daily make, uh, decision making, but down the road they could feel, they could do something, whether it be a seat, it could take it, become epileptic, a seizure, could start taking seizures because of it, or um, constant headaches then become addicted to certain medication. Um, it can lead to a, pot, a lot of different things, uh, but the biggest thing is decision making.